This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Thanks for checking out my eclectic RV and travel adventures channel. Thank you very much. I recently attended the Tarrant County RV show. They were very nice to me. And I saw this fantastic uh, and uh, well-appointed Lance travel trailer. It was the Lance 2075 and it's new for 2020. The floor length is 20 feet 3 inches, uh, the dry weight 4,400 pounds. It can vary between, you know, whatever options you put on there. And this is the layout. In the back they have a very nice outdoor kitchen and of course a very large U dinette, uh, plenty of room for folks to sleep, and of course a full size queen bed up front. Let's start off with the uh, stainless steel uh, outdoor kitchen. I really like it. It has a pull-out drawer, double burner, a uh, little sink there. And to the right of that, you have some storage uh, where you can put like three chairs. And below that, they have a bumper where you can also have storage. It has lockable storage in the bumper. Similar to like a, you know, like an Airstream. So there's that nice little stainless steel drawer. That should not have any issues, shouldn't it? It shouldn't uh, uh, weather. Uh, you know, get any water damage. Has a little bumper down there where you can put a little bike rack, etc. Not, nothing too heavy. Here's a little fridge by Dometic. Yeah, a little fridge. You can put some beverages in there, some uh, some food items, stuff for the grill. Why not? Just throw it there. It's all metal, of course. So, what do you think of this little addition? A little bumper, a little storage area, a little kitchen, outdoor kitchen, and fridge. I like it. I think it's perfect for the uh, three, four, five days out there in the wilderness and with the folks and family and friends. Right here they have a little uh, utility area where you have your USB, your 12 volt, and to the right you have your uh, alternating current. So you have plenty of options here uh, to power your various electrical items, be they uh, radios, uh, you know, a little grill, electric grill, whatever. Crockpot, you know, one of those uh, pots, that those pressurized cookers, why not? So there's the price and information about the unit. Of course, uh, if you're in the, if you have the uh, cash, you can get this. If you don't, sorry, I want this, but I can't afford it myself. It has a sliding front storage bin. It goes in and it goes out, and it's, uh, it makes it very convenient to get stuff. It has a battery storage compartment, one on each side, and it has a little str uh, sliding drawer. So, you, and of course, right below that is uh, where you can connect a solar suitcase. This is a very solar-friendly uh, unit. It has a, you can put two very large solar panels on the roof. It has an inverter, and you can get the lithium power package. And of course, this has a power tongue jack and 320s right there. And there's that front European-style uh, window. Very nice. And it opens up. <laughs> Who would have thunk? And uh, that's another area where you can put a battery and of course it's ventilated. And to the right there, a generator box. Wow, you can put a generator in there. You can have some solar, you can have generator. You can go boondocking for, you know, weeks on end before you have to go into town to get some water and do some dumping. So again, those are the European double insulated tinted windows. Wow, they, you know, they, you know, they come out all the way. You can, they have screens and there's that graphics package. Nice Goodyear tires, American tires, and nice rims. And uh, there's a Truma Combi system. Uh, that's a top of the line. You can't get better than that that I know about. If you have any uh, thing that you can say is better than that, just tell me. Say to, hey, Jesus, this is better than that. Ah, I, I'm up to being educated by you folks out there. And that's a little tool right there. And you can see the back end of, the, uh, of that... Uh, kitchen area. This is your outdoor shower, hot and cold water. You can uh, clean the pets, clean your own toes, clean the your p partner, and that's where you plug in your 30 amp. Unusual looking door, very uh, retro style, very unusual. The, the shade goes up and it goes down. Let's go inside and check it out. So what do you think so far? That's a very large u dyna It's almost the size of a queen bed, really. You can have some uh, two folks, uh, uh, you know, adults. Not too large of an adult, but adults back there and sleeping. There's some of your uh, uh, controls for your lights and etc. your entries. 
the lights and stuff like that. And this is the star of the show, the in-command control system with Global Connect technology. Wow, that is nice. That controls a lot of stuff. And it's uh, if you have any issues with that, they have some manual overrides. That's always a positive, huh? In the middle of nowhere, you don't want to have any issues. There's the radio DVD player, and uh, there's some speakers, and the controls for the Truma combi system. Very nice. And you have some storage under there, and then you have uh, twin layers of storage right there. One right there, right around, and one below it. So you're not wasting any space. Look at those hinges. Those are serious hinges. They should last a lifetime. So you get storage all the way around, you get these uh, opening skylights, they open up, and you get two of them, one in the front and one in the back. Let me open this one up too, uh, check it out. Don't forget you can leave your kind and friendly comments, emphasis on kind and friendly. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I sometimes get some folks out there that are mad at me, they go, Jesus, uh, you upset me. That's where you can put store some wine bottles, soda bottles, beer bottles, whatever kind of bottles. Or you can just take it out and just use it for regular storage. Why not? Uh, my wife drinks wine. I don't. I'm a Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke guy. There's some uh, receptacles back there. And that's uh, more unusually shaped storage. It has a little bit of an angle to it. Look at that drawer. Wow, that's from the space age or something. I don't know. It's uh, They had to actually think for a while to make that drawer. <laughs> Wow, that's an unusual little shape, huh? So that's where a little puck where you connect your TV. They have one outside, they have one inside, they have one in the bedroom. And you just plop your TV right there, apparently. If you have any questions, you can contact your local, uh, you know, dealership. You can talk to the folks at Lance, you know, at their, at the, their Lancaster, California headquarters. Or contact your local dealership. I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to get your phone number and answer your questions. Again, well-organized storage. Stainless steel sink, stainless steel uh, stove top, nice little uh, faucet there, and of course the, all the drawers are dovetail. That's an upgrade, isn't it? It's better than the usual staples or just pin nails. That's actually dovetail and soft clothes. Wow. Have some receptacles right there. So you have two layers of drawers. And uh, this is the uh, stove top I was talking about. Double burner. That should be easy to clean. Looks like I can clean that out if stuff falls right there. I can clean it up. Yeah, daddy has to cl uh, clean stuff once in a while. My, my wife uh, says, you got to clean up your own mess, boy. And I say, okay, yes, ma'am. And I just get on to cleaning. So this is a backsplash, nice little texture to it, and some controls for the galley lights, etc. And you get the stainless steel uh, treatment for the microwave too, and also for the refrigerator. And there's a, the air condition. You get some different options, three different options. So make sure you get the one you like. It's all a matter for your region. If you're in the south, you're gonna say, I want the 15. <laughs> okay, I don't want no puny. Uh, air conditioning unit. So this is a AC and propane refrigerator. It has a little lock down there. I was playing with a little lock. There's a little drawer right there too. So you get plenty of drawers in this unit inside and out. So what do you think so far? Do you like it? Can you afford it? Some folks have the cash, others don't. I have family members that have a lot of cash. I happen to be one of those that's a bit lagging. There's an area where you can put your CPAP machine, plenty of uh, receptacles right there, and a drawer uh, comes out, and there's that little uh, thermal foil countertops. I like thermal foil countertops better than the, those uh, other types of countertops, those laminate countertops. So there's a shirt closet, and you have some lights here and a speaker, nice little reading light. I appreciate a reading light. My wife likes to read at night, and I like to read at night too, so we can hang out and do Check out our latest books. There's that uh, Stargazer window. I've noticed that on several videos that that looks different. There's actually two of them. Uh, this one only has one. I don't know what's going on. You have to contact the folks at Lance or your local Lance dealership. Here's the second uh, opening skylight. You can pop that up, stick your head out, and check out the weather. Say, hey, 
it's hella cold, or say hella hot. There's a TV prep area, that's where you could put your TV, and right below it is more crooked storage. <laughs> Unusually angled storage. <laughs> Unusually shaped storage. Uh, you take what you can get, huh? So let's lock that up. And over here is that uh, opening European style window, and uh, shades from the top uh, give you a little bit of uh, shade, as they say, and the ones from the bottom just block out the light. So you have privacy, or you can just have a little bit of shade. More receptacles, 12 volt, uh, and you got you some USB and some alternating current. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. So there's a shot from the bedroom looking towards the galley and the uh, dinette. Let me go in the uh, last room here. This is going to be the uh, restroom, the bathroom. Let me open that up. They have a little bowl right there, a little dark colored bowl. It has a lot of texture to it. It's very nice. There's your porcelain foot flush toilet, easy to clean. A little place for your TP, a place for your towel and your little towels. And you get those fantastic fans. And there's your medicine cabinet. You can put some medicines in there. You know, your various uh, toothbrush and toothpaste items, your combs and brushes. You can put them all right there. Yeah, it has no light, nice little light scones. Of course, your friendly comments are always appreciated. Thanks in advance. And there's that little bowl it has a nice texture to it and right below it, it has a uh, plenty of room to put your you know toothbrush or your shaver or whatever you need to put there and a lot of units I've noticed uh, have this area blocked off but this one it's open so you can put a little, little something there I don't know what you're gonna put there odds and ends or ends and odds interesting shower door took a little finessing but I opened it up uh, I would check the size make sure this uh, shower fits you it fits me. Uh, I'm 5'10", 180, 175 pounds during the summer. And there's a shower wand. So what do you think of this unit? I like it a lot, uh, but I like other Lance models better. But this is a nice one. It's a new one. There's an area where you can put your soap. This has been the Lance 2075. What's your opinion? What do you think? I really like it. It's a Lance 2075 campsite charmer, and I saw it at the recent RV show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My name is Jesus Manuel Managarza. Check out my website, jmmgarza.com. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.